Alright, welcome back here. So here is the, the second part. Uh, the topic here is to use row with the T cut uh, graphic object here. So now uh, instead of uh, uh, drawing one dimension, now we were drawing two dimensional stuff here. But before that, we uh, let me remind you what the tree data is. So we use print command here to print all the stuff here. So you can see that we have uh, three ranges, very simple. First one's money, second one's x and y here. You can think about this is a, a people living in an x y coordinate and have the have the money here. Okay, <laughs> so this will look like um, okay. Uh, let me just show you very quickly. Money as Y here. All right, so this is the data we have here. Uh, so you can uh, think about this in this way. Mm. Wait, the the we want to make a cut that's to show some correlation between the money and the X Y here because. Uh, uh, some people living in certain re uh, area will tend to earn more money than some people in another area here. Okay, for example, if you live in the countryside, maybe your average salary will less than the people who live in uh, in a city. It look like this. Okay, so first we plot what x and y is. So here is you, you can observe a value here. X value is relatively large than Y value here. So you will basically uh, try several times to make uh, the, the your range right here. So I already try several times to make a range nicely. Okay. <laughs> so first of all, I would like to create a canvas, the new one. So in this canvas I call it a C2 and this is the key is the same as the object name here is C2 and the title is my 2D plot and I would like to 500 pieces of my width and then 500 pieces of my height so that's it go then you, you got it <laughs> okay so now we will use the T object to draw uh, the true dimension, and but we want to ask and why to draw it. So uh, let's see what happened here. So re you redirect uh, to a histogram here. I call it HSY here, and this is a little bit tricky here because uh, it seems like uh, this part corresponding to Y axis, but actually is corresponding to the value corresponding to uh, larger value here. So somewhat it's not intuitive. <laughs> okay, it's kind of reverse in a certain way. So th the thing is just go try and you you will modify this. Okay, so let me just summarize it. You just plot S and Y. You use column here. And you redirect to a histogram, and you can set up the range of it. The first one is the beam, and uh, the beam is how many uh, little box in your assets here to kind of receive that value to make a count here. And this is uh, the part here is empty, is no selection. This option is the color. Okay, so let's see what happened here. All right, let's move it a little bit. Okay, so we have a very beautiful color here. Okay, so you see this is uh maybe you can think about this is a region one and this is a region two. So we want to make a cut here to see what happened to the money. Uh, the the from what is will be different from here and here. All right, so let me just. Uh, very quick comment here. You can have many options like uh, color. It means this is a color. If you don't put anything, this will be just a black and um, white dot here. Then just try it. 
<laughs> Alright, this look like this way. So C O L Z means color and you have uh sur this means surface and Lego is a kind of cute and you can Lego one, Lego two, Lego three, let's try Lego two. It takes time. Because because uh, it's a more fancy way to represent the data. All right, so we create the x y. This is the region. So we want to make a cut. All right, it seems like it takes a much longer time than I think. Okay. Um. Ooh. You're wrong, me. <laughs> So unfortunately, uh, we need to wait to finish, uh, because you can you you cannot use Control C to okay. <laughs> if you use Control C, then everything just gone. <laughs> okay. So if you type something in command wrong, just wait it to finish. Uh, you cannot just terminate my Control C. That would be disaster happen. You will do all the thing again. So maybe it's nice to just write in a script here. Okay. Okay. All right. So because I want to use no color, maybe it's easier. Okay. Maybe faster to process. All right. So let's make a cut here. To make a cut, you need several step here. Uh. Okay. Uh, the first, you have to use go to the menu bar to see the view. There near the toolbar here, click it. Okay, so here it is, and you enlarge it. So then you uh, select the, this icon here. This is a graphic color. This look like a scissors. Okay, so now I click. Already click it. Now you use your mouse right click to draw a region. Then you it will be look like this. Okay. Really simple. Alright. Okay, to finish it, you go to the point where you just left here, you see, and double click. Okay, to finish. Alright? So then you go to here. You see your 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 uh, cursor will change to the kind of hand. This is a finger, and this is a hand here. Grab something like this. Then you right click, and you can have uh, the method called step name. Then we just make a my cut. All right. Okay, here we are. So, uh, you got my cut. Here is the P cut G object, the graphic cut object you just create here, and you can have something very interesting like a print. Okay, it will print out all the dots. Oh, oh sorry, all the point, and uh, you just create here. So remember, because it's a region, it's a closed region. So the first point and the end point will be identical one. So if you don't like your selection, uh, where where's my graph? Sorry. No. Okay. Here. Okay. So if you don't like uh, the point, you just draw here. Actually. You can you can use a method like a set point to change this later. Okay, before that we can explore um, some interesting with a graphic card here. So let's draw the same graph here uh, with cut and see what it look like. So the first one is the exact the same command to S Y. To redirect to a histogram called X and Y here. This is a redirect. A big, if you plus a, uh, you add a plus sign here, that means appendix. You add the new data. 
So here is just redirect and rewrite everything here inside the histogram. So the range uh, of s's and x s's and y axis is exactly the same as we just plot in here. Now, but here we have uh, no uh, selection. And here is we our graphic selection. Let's see what happens. Okay. Hold on. So this is just I the region I draw. All right. So it just plot here, here, here. Then is is ignore all other thing here. All right. So and you can also use a logic operator like uh, the exclamation marks not inside this region. That's just demonstrate it very quickly. Hold on. So it, this will plot all the things outside. Okay. So let's use the like selection from S Y to plot money. So now we will ch use uh, C uh, C one. This is remember this is a graph. Uh, this is a canvas C two here. So we go to C one by by this command C one. Uh, use a method change to the pad one here. That should be some way uh, uh, here. Okay, it's still empty here. Okay, so we draw is the first one with my cut. Okay, the second one is no cut. All right. So you see something different here. There's a very strange. Uh, a lot of people earn the money at this um, this value, maybe two thousand here. But here, it it with my cut in that region in the in in the region all. Oh, <laughs> excuse me. In the, in the region of this part here. All right. So you will see something very something different, uh, the correlation of okay so okay so um this is not sorry so actually so it just plus whatever outside the cut here and this one is within the cut region here and this is with no cut here. So actually, they are a little bit different here. You can see the entrance here. So this is a whole entrance here, but this is just probably half of it. All right. So actually, it done is did work here. So um, you also can save the cut to the root file here. Then you can uh, retrieve it in the same way. And to to try that again here, all right. Uh, so here I don't. I think I don't need to. Uh, I don't need to demonstrate. It's just very straightforward to write out to the pro, uh, file here. So the, the next thing is I just want to tell you how to refine the uh, the 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 cut here. Let's say we made some mistake and we want to change this later. Okay, so uh, let's see. Let's just create a T canvas object, a new one called the C test, and this is the title is just for test is uh, exactly 500 to 500 as the same one here. So let's draw it. Um, all right, copy. All right, a new one just for test here. So first, you can have my cut and draw. All right. So you you see, <laughs> this is your drawing here. Then let's say we want to change something like uh, okay, we don't uh, we don't want is here we can this okay you you grab it you move it you can you change <laughs> or you want to modify one point here 
you can see a finger. You can change it, right? Okay. Or you can add one more point, like click, right click, then insert point here. So you can see there should be a finger. All right. Very, very cool, right? Okay. Or more, uh, more, more specific way you can say, um, my cut print. All right. So let's say you want to change certain point here. Let's say my cut uh set point. I would like to change the okay the eleven. Let's say now we have one five hundred uh four thousand. Let's see what happened here. Actually, I don't know. Okay, so then, okay, here is, then I'm gonna change to, let's say, six. Okay, Look, looks weird. <laughs> anyway, it's really, really funny. Uh, let's say, one, two, all right, <laughs> okay. okay. So now, um, Anyway, you know how to change it. So, uh, also you can save it anyway to the file we just create. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> so I create a T file object called the G here. This is cut and to uh, create a new one. Let's say do it. So G the LS. You will have a my cut object here. So now you ch you can change it. Set a point to five hundred. Okay, then just my cut right. Then you have a newer version here. This two means the uh, the cycle number two. This is the second one you save to the file. This is the first one you s that you save to the file. In a memory, it's always the largest uh, re cycle number here. My cut will be a, the largest cycle number here. All right, the up to date one. Okay, so that's typically what I want to say in a T cut G uh, object here. All right, so then we will talk about the skin, and there will be a, another story. So I think I will end here. Okay. I'll see you later.